Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today I'm going to make a pretty short video. This is an outdoor video for the Bushcraft Inn. And I just wanted to talk about phones. And I just have a cheap Android phone that I picked up here in the Philippines. Mine is a Cherry mobile phone. Uh, it's only a 5 inch screen, but it does everything that I need it to do. Uh, I know that when you go out in the, the woods, more than likely you're going to have your phone with you because you probably had it in your car, so you're not just going to leave it in your car. So you're going to pack it along with you, you might as well take it. I always keep on my phone, on the memory card, the SD card, I keep a big selection of survival stuff. And mostly I'm talking about the apps that you can put on your phone. And since I have an Android phone, I just go to Google Play, and I just get the free, the free apps. And I have apps that range from uh, a compass, survival guides, a bug out bag list app, uh, a couple of real nice flashlight programs, uh, one on edible plants and medicinal plants. I have a couple different knot guides. One on martial arts, uh, stopwatch and timer app, a uh, couple army manuals, first aid manuals, apps on traps. Have a nice app on that's called the Swiss Army Knife. That's a pretty cool uh, little app that has. So I can find it here. That has a built-in flashlight. A unit converter, a timer, a stopwatch, a compass, a bubble level calculator, a magnifying glass, a mirror, and a ruler. And the mirror is nice because it uses the front camera so you can look at yourself if you had something in your eye or something. The magnifying glass just uses the, the, the main camera lens and actually magnifies stuff pretty good. Um, I've never used the compass because you have to have a, some sort of a signal for the compass. but. Again, here in the Philippines, our phone signals are much different than you have back home. Um, but I use the timer a lot for uh, cooking and stuff, and then it has a nice flashlight program on it. That's a very nice program, and again, it's free. Uh, some of the other programs that I use, the apps that I use, now, this is a survival manual here, Army. This is U.S. Army Field Manual FM 3-05.0. 70 survival and it's a pretty comprehensive manual it covers a lot of different things uh, has a nice um, table of contents has psychology of survival shelters water firecraft food survival plants poisonous plants dangerous animals desert survival tropical survival cold weather survival sea survival um, signaling techniques, camouflage, contact with people, survival kits, ven venomous snakes and dangerous insects, dangerous fish and good fish, rope and knots, stuff about the clouds, and it has lots of pictures in it, things like that. It's a real nice app, and again, it's free. Another, another app that I recently got is it's called the Preppers Toolkit and we'll click on that and that comes up with a whole bunch of links on here if you're hooked up to the internet it has a link for Dave Canterbury, Bushcraft Bartons, Southern Prepper, Sensible Prepper, Black Scout Survival, Prepared Minds 101, Far North Bushcraft, Mantis Outdoors, Reality Survival, the Patriot Nurse, and it also includes a fantastic U.S. Army manual, and 
and that would be let's see if it comes up to the beginning here that would be FM 21-76 US Army Survival Manual and that's a, a really big manual it covers everything you could possibly imagine that's pretty nice also in that same program it has a survival medicine handbook a wonderful knot tying guide which is a real nice illustrated book it has a fantastic PDF on edible and medicinal plants with all kinds of colored pictures in it and stuff like that so it's very very handy so the only other thing you need on your phone is to make sure you have a PDF reader on it like Adobe Adobe PDF that's just something you keep on your your phone and again you don't have to keep any of these things loaded on your phone at all you just keep them in a file on your SD card I got mine mine's just listed as survival and when I need something I, I click on it load the app on the phone and I can watch it and use it as much as I want the other thing I have on my phone is I have a lot of PDF files on my phone I used to like to go to the the site called um, what's it called Project Gutenberg and that has all kinds of old-time books on everything you can imagine from you know Plato to you know to who knows what uh, but there's a lot of stuff in there like I found uh, three different books by Kemper a book on a, a book by Sears uh, a few books by Daniel Beard and uh, you know those are all old-time survival guys from the early 1900s late 1800s early 1900s and uh, if you watch Dave Canterbury a lot of stuff he quotes he quotes from those three guys Beard Kemper and Sears and uh, their books are interesting uh, as far as primitive bushcraft stuff it's definitely not outdated uh, they have some pretty good ideas on camping and uh, setting up camps and cooking shelters different things like that knives so it's very very nice another thing you can do I don't know if you ever go to the site instructables on the site instructables you find something on there you like you can save those as PDF files and you, you can just bring it right up and be nice color pictures and stuff on how to make whatever you're thinking about There's a lot of survival stuff out there you can use um, the the other thing the other thing that I keep on my phone is I keep a lot of three three GP videos saved in three GP that's just a, a compression format that makes the files real small works perfect on phones it's not the clearest thing in the world but it's fantastic for on a phone and I keep a folder on there of all the not videos that I've ever watched that, that I thought were useful and we're talking about a couple thousand videos I think my I think my uh, my file for knots is about I think 1.4 gigabytes and a lot of the stuff that I learned for knots I learned from those those uh, not files and the beauty of it is let's say you're, you want to you have a, you have something in your head that you know you know a good knot that you want to use and you try and try and tie it you haven't tied it for a while you just can't you just can't figure it out well the secret is pop up the video watch it for a second and it's it's nothing to 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 you know know how to tie it next it's, it's very easy um, another thing I keep on my phone is a couple survival videos I have one called uh, how to make or it's called it's called 21 ways to make a fire without a match and it's an older survival video DVD and it's has a uh, Mel DeWeese in it who's a who was a trainer a jungle jungle survival trainer in the Vietnam War and he knows pretty much everything about everything you can imagine as far as bushcraft goes and a, a few other guys but they go through the whole thing and, and throughout the vi throughout the, the video they show 21 ways how to make a fire without having matches it's just it's interesting entertaining um, I also have two uh, survival 
videos called I think they're called Survival Basics One and Survival Basics Two, and they're Ron Wood uh, videos. And you know, I don't know if you know who Ron Wood is, but he's a very knowledgeable guy. And uh, his his videos were real entertaining. Him and his wife. Uh, I learned a lot of stuff when I first started out watching his stuff. Another thing I keep on my phone, and I, I have it on my phone here for a different reason, but I keep probably a oh, it must be about an eight or a ten gigabyte file on my phone on the the memory card of movies and a few TV shows and some comedy and things like that just to watch I, I use it here for when the power goes off because we have a lot of brownouts I call them, I call them blackouts I call them brownouts here where the, the power goes off for four hours 14 hours sometimes four days you never know but then I have something to watch uh, you know in of course you're just watching on a little screen but it, but it's pretty nice when you're just sitting there and you're very bored that's, that's another thing I was gonna say when you're out there in the woods and let's say you're let's say you are stranded or whatever and you know you're all all worked up about the you're in a survival situation well I don't know what would what would calm you down more like say at 9 or 10 o'clock before you're gonna finally sack out is take out your phone and pop on a a movie or pop on a, a 30 minute show or something like that just to watch to relax you to take the pressure off to, to remind you that you that you're really not that far away from the real world um, the other thing I do whenever I carry my phone is I always I always put it in a, a ziploc bag which I think is very important uh, for me here in the Philippines it's very important because I sweat like crazy but if you're gonna have it in your bag Put it in a Ziploc bag. If it gets wet, no problem. Another thing you need to take with you, if you're gonna if you're gonna use your phone for for survival reference or anything like that, you're crazy not to take a power bank with you. And I have a 11 power bank. And the beauty of this thing is it's solar chargeable. This will charge my phone two times with no problem at all or I can plug my phone into it and run my phone for about 24 hours on it, watching movies and stuff like that and the only reason I know that is I've been without power here for the one time we were out of power for almost two months and I use this all the time and then you put this in the sun during the day and in about six or seven hours it's charged itself all the way back up ready to go again to charge your devices so very 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 handy device I think we paid I think my dad paid 22 or 23 dollars on Amazon for it, but very, very nice. And it's supposed to be waterproof and shockproof, but this one here, the first time we use it, the cover popped right off of it, so it's not very waterproof or shockproof. But it does work very nice. Um, if if I was in America, I would have sent it right back. But again, I'm in the Philippines and I can't just send stuff back, so we just. You know, use it as we have. I gave it a little super glue to, to hold the cover back down. You know, here here you have to, uh, you know, you just, you just have to do with what you have. And then else you can do about it. But I guess that's about all I have for phones and PDFs. I think a phone makes a wonderful uh, res resource device for you. And another thing I keep on my phone is I keep a half dozen cartoons on it. Uh, some Warner Brother cartoons, some Foghorn Leghorns, some Road Runners, things like that. I keep a, a couple episodes of Johnny Quest and a couple other things like that. And that's because if I'm stranded with my daughter and she's all stressed out by everything, I can just hand her the phone and let her watch a, a cartoon or a movie or something like that. And uh, it's a very it's a very comforting thing for for especially for a kid you know that's that's scared about everything and the other nice thing about the phones too is like say my phone I probably have probably 25 or 30 games that I also got off of off of the the, the Play Store on Google and my daughter just really enjoys playing the game again I don't have any of that stuff loaded on my phone ever I just it's just on the memory card when we want to watch we want to play a game well we just load the game on and we get done with the game we just take it back off so it's always there for you
but I guess that's all I have I want to thank everybody for taking the time and watching this video please click like and subscribe feel free to use the video share the video things like that you can contact me anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com and I want to remind everybody that we have a international bushcraft and survival course offered here in the Philippines. It's a seven day format to challenge you and your skills over here in the Philippines. If you're interested in something like that, contact Don at Thunderbird Outdoor Adventures and you can get a hold of him at Thunderbird Outdoors at gmail.com or go to their website thunderbirdoutdooradventures.com click on the international tab and check out the international bushcraft and survival course uh, look over the rest of his his site has a real nice site check out the instructors things like that he also offers many courses uh, in bushcraft survival navigation things like that and he's based in Oklahoma he has a real nice program But I guess that's all I have, so thank you, and have a nice day.